Alright guys, I want to share with you this crazy thing that happened this past Fibonacci day. It has to do with the lottery. A scratch ticket called Gold Rush. Now, Fibonacci day has to do with the first, second, third, and fourth Fibonacci numbers. So we're talking about 1, 1, 2, 3. November 23rd, 11, 23. Is Fibonacci Day. Anyway, so this guy's in Massachusetts. He buys a ticket called Gold Rush. And it was on Fibonacci Day. I just found out today that Fibonacci Day, if you capitalize the F and the D, that equals 144. Francis Bacon, that's a Fibonacci number. To tie this in with time, 144 hours is equal to six days. Add up all the numbers from one through six and you get 21. So 21 is the sixth triangular number. Phi, well that's the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet. So, so again 21 is the sixth triangular number. Six days is equal to 144 hours. Using Lambda's Fibonacci cipher, the word phi, P-H-I, equals 144. I just found it significant that using the Francis Bacon cipher, Fibonacci day equals 144. So let's look at the next number up from 144. Next number up from 144 is 233. Look at the bottom of the screen. We have... Phileas Bonacci. You have to use all capital letters here with the Frank Bacona cipher, but Phileas Bonacci equals 233. That's Fibonacci number. The Fibonacci cipher we're talking about peaks at 233 and then goes back down to 1. If you didn't watch my video, you might not know, but Phileas Bonacci basically translates to son of Bonacci. So Leonardo Fibonacci. He's known from different names, but Phileas Bonacci is one of them. Equals 233. Look at the top of the screen. We can get a 233 reverse ordinal from the words 1123. Remember, Fibonacci day is 1123, November 23rd. 1123. One, and remember, that's the day that the guy bought his winning lottery ticket and it was gold rush he got his golden ticket now I'm thinking about Willy Wonka anyway the um, Fibonacci day is based off the first second third and fourth Fibonacci numbers you look at the top of the screen using the reverse ordinal cipher those words first second third and fourth equals 377 it's the next Fibonacci number up the bottom of the screen, the word Fibonacci equals 377, satanic cipher. 377 is a Fibonacci number. Using the Fibonacci cipher, the word Trump equals 377. I said this before. If we use all lowercase letters, that's important, it was all lowercase letters in this case, using the Frank Bacona cipher, type in the words 377. That equals 610, which is the next number up from 377. And of course, if you divide the higher Fibonacci number by the lower Fibonacci number, you get close to phi, the golden ratio. And it's crazy that I'm just reading this story now. You can see when this was updated, January 22nd. I just did my videos about Fibonacci and someone brings this to my attention. Apparently when he scratched off the winning number and saw 4 mil, he thought it was 4,000 because he's Portuguese and in, in Portuguese, mil means thousand. And it makes sense. Think of millennium. It's 1,000 years. If you think about M, the... Roman numeral M, 
represents 1000. And we can bring this back to Fibonacci because M, okay, M is the 13th letter of the English alphabet. The Fibonacci cipher we're talking about is peaks at the 13th Fibonacci number and then goes back down to 1. Speaking of 13, 13 is the 6th prime. 6 is a spiral, right? As I said before, 6 days is equal to 144 hours. Fibonacci day equals 144. And in Lambda's cipher, the Fibonacci cipher there, the word phi, P-H-I, equals 144. But I'm going on too long. The point is, is that he bought his golden ticket, the gold rush ticket, on Fibonacci Day. Oh, one last point here. Exit Time made a brilliant observation about the number 13. I wish I could find that video. I'll leave a link if I can find it. But Talk about how 13 is basically the master of time. If you look at the properties of 13, you take the triangular number plus the prime number plus the Fibonacci number relationships. So what you're looking at on the screen is 233. That's the 13th Fibonacci. Add that to the 13th prime, which is 41, and add that to the triangular number, which is 91. 91 plus 41 plus 233 equals the number of days in a standard year.